Those honks aren't coming from Vancouver's frustrated motorists. People are honking to show support for BC's dwindling old growth forests. Members of the Wilderness Committee rallied in front of Premier Gordon Campbell's office on West 4th Avenue on Saturday. They are demanding a halt to old growth logging. Old growth forest is what you get if you do not mow your lawn for a thousand years. Old growth forest is the natural ecosystem here. So anywhere around here that hasn't been logged, you have old growth forest. Joe Foy and other environmental activists had a list of demands for the Premier to change present forestry policy. We've had a half a dozen rallies now on Vancouver Island and in the Lower Mainland calling for an end to old growth logging on the south coast, uh, the sustainable logging of second growth. If it can be done in New Zealand, it can be done here. If it can be done in southwestern Australia, it can be done here. Biology instructor Frank Williams says it's not that easy. In fact, um, our best timber can be found in old growth forests and we have good timber coming up in what we call second growth, but it's not it's not the same dimension, it's not the same quality as what we have in old growth. Williams does agree that BC's forestry practices are having a negative effect on species like the spotted owl and salmon. Is a uh, green heart with an endangered spotted owl. There used to be over a thousand spotted owls in British Columbia, now there are only five left in the wild. And these two hearts, if uh, Gordon Campbell were to uh, take them on instead of his uh, small shriveled black heart, uh, it would help him fall in love with our ancient forests and endangered species. With forestry job losses at an all-time high and environmentalists demanding change to existing forestry policy, preserving old-growth forests will likely remain a hot topic in the upcoming provincial election May 12th. Look, if I wake up the day after the election and we still had the present government, I'm not going to give up hope. But I tell you, the current policies are extinction policies, both for our fish and our wildlife and for our workers. For Langara News, this is Lorraine Forrester.